guys, it's Erica with Tiny Acorn. I hope you guys are doing well. So today I'm excited because I have been sitting on several bags of clothes that I've been either unable to sell at my closet sale or that I just haven't listed. And I am going to be taking them to Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange today and see if I can get any cash back or any trade-in value and we'll see if I find some treasures today. If I find anything awesome, I'm gonna be styling it up at the end of this video, so make sure to stay tuned. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click that bell. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. All right, so we got to the first shop on Irving Street and I'm excited to see what's in there. Guys, I just found this hat. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, it's adorable. It's only $15, are you kidding me? It's a cute jacket, but not for me, I don't think. Kristen found this sweater, that's awesome. So here's some cowboy boots. My husband's been trying to get me to buy cowboy boots for as long as we've been together. So I'm gonna try these on. So there's sevens, but I think they're like a little bit too tight for seven. Yeah. Skirt's super cute. For fall, layered. So there's only one lady working here, poor thing, and it's really busy, and I just let myself into the dressing room to try on this stuff. It is! It's Beth from Be Jump Style. Awesome. So these are all the things I'm gonna try on. Okay, so this denim skirt is kind of unconventional. It's a little bit different, but I feel like it would be really cute with like boots for fall layered up maybe with a sweater or something. I like how it has these pockets here. Yeah, it's pretty cute. The only thing is it is a little bit big on the waist, so I'd need to get it altered, which would be an additional cost. Um, but it's only $15, so yeah, I'll think about it. So I thought this gold skirt would be cute for holiday parties, but it's just a little bit too tight on the hips. That's the seam. It looks like it's about to pop. So this is a little blue and white striped Madewell dress that I actually surprisingly like more than I thought I would. It's a very comfy dress. It's really cute, but I just don't know if I need it in my wardrobe. Okay, so this is a Zara dress, and the reason I picked it up is because it's this really cool retro looking knit. Um, don't really like how you can see my bra on the side, but my guess is that it's supposed to be either revealing or you're supposed to put a shirt underneath it. But yeah, I'm gonna say no to the dress. Okay, I'm excited about this one. I really like this it's a little white tour coat. And it's by Marine Layer. It's $22. Yeah, I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe, so I think that if I get some trade money, I'll probably get it. Show me this little jacket. It's a little like upholstery coat, and I love the silhouette of it, especially I think it goes with this outfit that I'm wearing right now. Yeah, it's actually a Zara. Zara does it again, guys. I'm telling you. I really like it. I'm gonna get it. Okay, so I guess she's going through my stuff now. So hopefully I will 
get some trade or make some money. So I just tried this little shirt on over my t-shirt. And I feel like it's cute. It looks vintage, in my opinion. I think it would be fun to style for fall. I need some more like plain t-shirty tops. I think I'm gonna get it. I also just found these adorable little clogs by Dulce Vita. So cute. Um, how cute are these? Okay, so here's all the stuff I want to get. I want to get the hat, the clogs, this little shirt, this upholstery jacket, and then the white short coat. And that is $92 total. So hopefully she's gonna buy at least $92 worth of trade from my clothes so that I don't have to pay anything for these. That would be awesome. Okay, so I'm really excited because I'm gonna get one 14 in trade. And so I'll be able to afford all the things that I wanna get. Yay! And then I'm gonna get the rest back in cash. And this is all of the stuff that's left over for getting a buy. Okay, so I'm on Hate Street right now and I'm going to try selling at the Buffalo Exchange here. And whatever it doesn't sell, I'm gonna try to hop over to the other crossroads that's on this street and try to sell the leftovers there. Handmade. So many berets. What I really like about Buffalo Exchange is that they have a lot more vintage, whereas Crossroads doesn't really. So yeah, I like Buffalo Exchange. Wow, this is a vintage piece. And I can tell because of the zipper and the way the seaming is done on the inside. That's beautiful. I feel like I'm already shopped out. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm like, I know there could be a lot of treasures here, but I don't even feel like looking right now. It's so cute. Super cute. A little big. So I'm looking for shoes kind of like this, but these are too big. So cute. $50. Too small. Is it red or is it orange? These are kind of cute. Urban Outfitters. So I just found this cute little fall sweater. It's vintage Esprit, $18. I like it. Oh my gosh, look at this green jacket. It's so cool. So I just found these docks, which is the kind I've been looking for. They're a size six. Bummer, I think they're a little bit too big for me. Well, they fit my friend Kristen, so they might be a men's six. You gonna get them? Probably. So they only bought three things here and I think that's because I had mostly like modern clothing in the bags. And my friend Kristen was actually selling some vintage clothes and she got way more money than I did. So I was able to get just that sweater with my trade-in value and I kind of broke even. 
All right, now we're going to head over to the crossroads on Haight Street and see if they'll buy any of this leftover stuff. This has been a marathon of a day, hasn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Three different stores, and now we're just like really shopped out and just zombie like browsing. It's like the same shoe I literally just bought, but I liked it when I got better. Interesting. What brand are these? It's just so much easier to shop for shoes when you're tired. Okay, yes or no? This is fun. This little Ralph Lauren gingham top is cute. I feel like it could be really cute style for fall. But I'm still on the fence about it, so. This little guy. Mm, I don't I don't know because I don't know if I like how like where it hits me on the hip. So I think I'm gonna pass. Alright, so the last place didn't take anything and sometimes it's like you kind of feel offended, you're like, oh, you have to remember that they're buying like seasonally and they're also buying according to what their like trends are that they're looking for right now. I can always just sit on these clothes and try to resell them in the spring. Um, that's an option. But anyways, yeah, taking some of your old clothes to Buffalo Exchange or Crossroads, you can trade in those clothes for new clothes or you can get cash back which is awesome if you need to make some extra money so that's just a great way to kind of revamp your wardrobe today I was able to get quite a few pieces at the first store that we went to and then I just got that sweater at the second store so yeah just make sure to stick around to the end I'm gonna style the looks up for you guys and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already all right ladies thank you so much for joining me and remember, you're beautiful just the way you are. Bye.